Hello, I'm Yusuf Qsaybati. In this world today, there is approximately 70 million deaf people who can't communicate using the ordinary language like most people speak. Instead, they use... And unfortunately, most people can't understand their way. This issue affects those incredible people on a daily basis. However, the danger of this problem arises in emergency cases including injury, car accident, or any threat or attack. So, I wanted to create a new way in which I can change the situation. And through my Côte d'Ivoire 2022 participation, I hope to improve the health inf infrastructure using my idea. Since AI and machine learning are improving significantly in the recent times, Pictoblox has implemented certain features that would help me bring my idea to life. Using Pictoblox's new machine learning environment, I was able to train the AI on various gestures in, uh, in the ASL or American Sign Language, including the alphabet and certain words commonly used in emergency cases. However, I need to clarify that due to the small scale of my project and the uh, limited capabilities of the AI algorithms of the Pictoblox application, the trained models will only work in certain circumstances and will not probably work in, for everybody in its current state since this is only a small scale project. First, my project consists of two parts, the hardware and the software. For the software, it includes two modes. The first mode is the testing mode to test out the AI algorithm with a certain sentence. The next mode is the emergency service center in which I train the AI in this mode to identify gestures of common words used in emergency cases. The second part is the hardware, which consists of an Arduino and a webcam that could be used to call the emergency center. And I will explain this part during the demonstration. So basically, my idea revolves around this. This first is an Arduino with several buttons connected to it and an LED light. The first two buttons, as you can see here, are for identifying the mode which the user will use to either identify words or letters. The first one is for identifying words. So once the user press this button, the recognition window for the uh, words trained in my AI uh, models will be interpreted uh, uh, using this mode when this button is, is pressed. The second mode is when this button is pressed, which will identify letters. And finally, this small button is to reset the mode that was chosen. So for example, if a, a user wants to switch between the two modes, he could first press this button to identify his words that he wants to say. Then he could press this small button to reset and choose the other, uh, the other mode in which he can, for example, spell his name. And the final button, this button, is, is to turn it to call the emergency center. So when uh, this button is pressed, this light will be turned on, causing the emergency center in Pictoblox to be triggered. And now, let's see it. So now, let me show you my Pictoblox application. So first, here is the main uh, main page. In this main page, after clicking, of course, after clicking the flag button, we will have the testing mode and start imprinting button. Both of these will take us to a mode where we can just test the AI algorithm. So now let's start, start interpreting for example. Now we can have two modes. First is identify word and identify letter. Let's try identifying a word. So we can say, I like ice cream. As you can see, this worked fine. So now let's try using the identify letter interpreting mode. Here's its window, it pop-ups on the side because there are many letters. So for example, this is B, uh, this is C. And as you can see, simultaneously, it's popping up here and being said by the sprite. So now let's consider a case where a person is in an emergency and he needs to call an emergency center and he, do, he, he has a disability that does not allow him to communicate through the normal language we communicate through. So he will be in a great danger. So my idea, using this Arduino, as we mentioned earlier, he can use this Arduino to call the emergency center as I will show you right now. So now first, let's press the, uh, the button that will call the emergency center. As you can see, 
when we pressed it the red light turned on and the, the emergency center popped up so now we will have to test the two modes and they will work in the exact same way as in the testing mode so let's try it and now after pressing the button we could test the world identifying system in the emergency center so I help so by this way the emergency operator or the emergency employee will know that the person or the user who's calling needs help or he's in danger or there was a car accident and by that way the word identifier in the emergency center will operate in addition, let me show you how will the letter identification work in here. After pressing its button, I'll be able to uh, it will be able to recognize anything I say. For example, F B C A. It will identify all the trained letters. Finally, let me show you my code. First of all, uh, here when we are in the main page, we have multiple sprites which are the AI sign language interpreter logo shown here this is its code here it will receive and broadcast messages hiding and showing it when uh, when necessary plus here the start interpreting button will uh, will broadcast the uh, appropriate uh, messages to start the testing mode and it will be the similar case will be uh, in the testing mode button when we press it, it will broadcast certain messages to allow us to enter to the testing mode. Here, uh, the stop interpreting mode will stop the application. And the return back will return us to the main page. And this is their code. Then, we have this identify letter uh, sprite, with, which when we press on it, it will trigger the uh, letter identification. And this is also the word identify word mode. When we click it, it will turn on and trigger the uh, word interpreting algorithm. Finally, this this is the sprite called John. And in this one, he will tell us what, what word the inter interpreted word. So here's the code. Here, I defined two blocks, one for identifying the word and one for identifying the letter. And I used certain variables, switch and turn on or off the mode used finally now let's go to the emergency center the emergency center button has a similar code to the testing mode uh, and the uh, other buttons normal buttons uh, and this is finally the main code for the emergency center as you can see it receives certain messages and there is also the return back uh, button and here is the code for uh, for the main sprite in the emergency center here this this block controls the modes that are triggered and when the emergency center is called. So, for example, here is when the when the first button is clicked. This when this is clicked, it will trigger the identify letter mode. And when the other one is clicked, it will uh, uh, turn on the identify letter mode. And finally, this one uh, this one which codes this button, if it was pressed, uh, the emergency center will be activated. Additionally, the, for the small button, uh, here is the, uh, its code. Uh, when it, it expressed the variables that I set to control the flow of the application will be set to zero, causing the word, uh, the word emergency mode uh, or the letter, uh, the letter uh, identification uh, to stop and return back to this main code in the forever loop. But now let's go to the main part, which is the AI and machine learning algorithm. I was able to use in this project two two models. First, the first one is with the new machine learning environment uh, offered by Pictoblocks, as you can see here. Let me show you. As you can see right now, here are uh, here are all the letters I trained. Each letter has at least over sixty samples. And finally, this is the training data for the word and the identification system. Finally, thank you. And good luck for everybody participating in this incredible competition.